Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. This is my son Ben and today we have a German whiskey. Yup. It's a German whiskey with Scottish anxiousness. Mm -hmm. It's St. Kilian. St. Kilian was a famous missionary. Missionary. Um, bishop. Something like that. Yes, later bishop. Um, uh, who brought the Christianity to Scotland, I think. Yeah. Ireland? Scotland. Scotland? This is, yeah, okay. probably. So, Gaelic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And uh, the St. Kilian distillery is located in Hesse in Germany, and they have Scottish pot stills, mm -hmm. German malt, which is very often exported to Scotland. Yep. And German craftsmanship. Mm -hmm. And with this, they produced this bottle in a wonderful pot still shape. Yeah, it's specially Incredible. made for them. So they yeah. they had it made just after their own 6,000 uh, liter copper mm -hmm. pot still. Um, this really looks cool. Yeah, I really, really love it. So the, it's, it's un, uncolored, unchill filtered. It's 54.2 uh, ABV. And you can see uncolored, this is really that's mahogany color, dark, mm -hmm. very dark amber. So uh, this is uh, matured in Amarone, Amarone casks. Yeah, it's the signature number two. Mm -hmm. And this time, as you said, Amarone cask. And back here we have, we see the, the signature one. And that is, well, I think that was a normal cask, right? Bourbon casks. Yeah. Well, no, no, it had a special cast. I'm not quite sure. Um, but this one sh should be more exotic. The yeah. Amarone cast should be have some, some fruitiness and some Very much, yeah. interesting. So this is uh, half a liter only, but with 54.2 ABV. So with a little dilution, mm -hmm. you're getting to your 0.7 liters. It's vintage 2016 to 2019. So it's just single malt whiskey. Mm -hmm. And... Yeah. Let's have a try. We tasted that. It wouldn't cork. It's <laughs> plastic. Um, we had the our cask here where we had these glass ends in so that we could see uh, the maturation of the whiskey. And this was St. Kilian as well. So mm -hmm. we know the distillery character quite good. Mm -hmm. It's a very fresh apple, pear, fruity mm -hmm. character. And now we have this Amarone cask on top of that, which is probably darker fruits. Yeah, more intensity. So this is for a three year old. It's really dark. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really. Mm. <laughs> oh, it's, uh, this is lovely. Amarone. Yeah, and wonderful fruity. There's a light fruitiness and a darker fruitiness. Both of them is in. And then some caramel vanilla showing through. Vanilla not too much, more caramel. A little sweetness in the nose. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, it's lovely. It has a lot of fruit in there. It had a lot of fresh fruit in there with the pears, as you said. And you do feel a bit of the distillery character, although the cask is quite intense. Mm -hmm. And what I also find is there is a, a fresh note to it, a minty note. This might be and the high ABV. Yeah, might be high ABV and a bit of uh, the low age. I don't think they, mm -hmm. they do the age on there. They do the, oh, they distill 2016, bottle 2019, so it's a three-year-old. And here in the, uh, on the back side, you do see the, um, what do you call it, the percentages. percentages of the cask. So 50 liters of X Amarone, 50 liters, X Amarone 225 liter casks and 325 liter X Amarone cask, 61%. So you can see what the, the whiskey is made of. So, so the most is from 325 liter casks, then the next is mm -hmm. 225 and only very little. Just three percent is from those mm -hmm. small casts. They mature quite fast. Yeah, they do. Mm -hmm. The 
the cask is here. It's spiciness in it. Mm -hmm. This is my second sip, and the spiciness is even stronger. Yeah, I missed to dilute it. Mm -hmm. So it's 54.2. Mm -hmm. Yeah, really, my highest so far. <laughs> <laughs> it really mm -hmm. kicks you. This is intense. And the fruitiness is there, and now the higher ABV, in contrast to the prior sip, is quite, yeah, mm -hmm. is delivering the taste just to your tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. mm. It's quite strong without the dilution. And um, you have a lot of fruitiness packed in there, a lot of additive maturation. So you have um, strawberries, a bit of mint, sweetness, a little bit of character and that kind of stuff. But still, mm, with the high ABV, it does burn you a bit. I did burn myself yeah. a bit. <laughs> <laughs> I just had a, a big mouthful of water mm -hmm. and added a few uh, drops here. So I'm just to say mm -hmm. 45 to 48. Now the smell is mm -hmm. much more welcoming. And now the vanilla shines through. Mm -hmm. There's more in it. It becomes and maltiness. Yeah, it becomes much more milder and sweeter when mm. you when you add a little water. Yeah. Mm. This happens very seldom that I mm -hmm. forget to add water. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Strange. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Much more welcoming, really. Yeah, friendly berry notes. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I like it, yeah. But there is a little residue of the youthness of the whiskey, I think. Mm -hmm. A little bit is tasteable. It's just three years. Mm -hmm. Oh, they don't say the years, but they say the vintages. So it's distilled 2016, bottled 2019. But so, yeah, yeah. it yeah. is three years. And because they call it whiskey, it has to be three years in it, not 2.5. Does it have to be in Germany? Yes. It's EU three. law now, right? Mm. Mm. I do like it. I have to say, it gains a bit if you add water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, 54 it's is too harsh. It's a bit too harsh. A bit too straightforward and uh, a bit too harsh. And it gains in depth. And mm -hmm. Gains a lot in depth. Mm. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Okay. So I don't think <laughs> that you have chances to get that outside Central Europe. Seldomly, but I if you ever if you ever happen to uh, have a really long layover in Frankfurt, then just get out of the airport. <laughs> I think it's just a half an hour drive or something mm, like that. More than one hour. More than one hour. Yes, the roads are very I've, windy. I think I've talked with um, Pat about it. And it's it's extraordinarily close, uh -huh. but I'm not quite sure. But if you have a very long layover <laughs> in Frankfurt, then. Go have a look for the St. Kilian distillery and have a visit because it's a, a lovely distillery and you can ha have a lot of tastings at the distillery. Yeah, you can see a video of the distillery. You mm -hmm. was there. Yeah, I was there. When you collected your cask. Mm -hmm. Wonder wonderful video. And you hugged your cask. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's it. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. If you found this video interesting, then please feel free to share it with your friends and see you next time.